In this video, we are going to talk about MySQL's error 1140. Here's our setup for this video. You can pause the video at any time to review the code. We have a table called math grade, which contains information about the student, including the section they are in and the final grade that they received. And here we have our sample records. Now here is a query that uses the max function to find the highest grade in the table. And it also includes the section column in the select list. But if we try to run this query, we are going to get MySQL error 1140. It says here, in aggregated query without group by, expression number one of select list contains non-aggregated column, followed by the name of the column. This is incompatible with SQL mode is equal to only full group by. Some people refer to this as the only full group by error, or the non-aggregated column error. This error occurs when MySQL is set to a strict mode called only full group by, which is the default in MySQL 8.4. If your MySQL deployment is not set to this mode, then you will not get error 1140. The only full group by mode enforces more rigid SQL standards, ensuring that any columns in a select list that aren't used with aggregate functions such as max, min, sum, and others, must appear in a group by clause. Here's a breakdown of what's happening in the query. My intention for this query is to get the highest final grade in the table, as well as the section from where that highest grade came from. Now, based on my intention, this isn't actually the proper way to go about it, but we will fix that later. So why does this error occur? In SQL, when using aggregate functions, non-aggregated columns must be included in the group by clause. Otherwise, SQL will not know how to group the results. In this example, the aggregate function we are using is max, and it's being paired with this non-aggregated column, which is section, in our select list. When we say non-aggregated column, this simply means that we are not passing this column to an aggregate function. We're not saying something like get the sum of section or the average of section because it wouldn't make sense to do that in this example. So in terms of syntax, that's what the error is. SQL is saying that if you're not making this an aggregated column as well, then you should instead put it in a group by clause so that SQL will know how to group the results. So to fix the error, we add group by section. This fixes the syntax error, but it also improves the logic of the query. The problem with the original one is that it assumes that there is only one section where the highest final grade came from. But if you look at the records, we see that the highest grade is 95.5 and that it appears twice in section A and once in section C. Now with our improved query, the clause that says group by section tells MySQL to calculate the max final grade for each section separately. So our results will show the highest grade for section A the highest grade for section B, and the highest grade for section C. And this also satisfies the only full group by mode requirement because our non-aggregated column section is now specified in the group by clause. This fixes the syntax error and makes the query unambiguous. Note that we can disable only full group by mode. In this case, MySQL will allow queries like this first one. If we deactivated the only full group by mode, this query will get the highest grade and then just randomly pick either section A or B. It's situations like this that generally make it a good practice to follow strict SQL rules like only full group by to avoid writing ambiguous queries that lead to ambiguous results. 
Now let's go back to the original intention for the query that I mentioned sometime at the start of the video. I wanted to write a query that gets the highest final grade in the entire table and tells me the section where the highest grade came from. This new query, although syntactically correct, does not exactly comply with what I wanted to do. Yes, it does give us the highest grade, but it does it per section instead of just the entire table. Looking at the data again, 95.5 is the highest grade, and it was achieved by students from both section A and C. So based on our data and the original intention for the query, our expected output should have two rows that show both section A and C being the sections where we can find the highest math grade. Here is a better query for that. Here we have an inner query, select max final grade from the math grade table. This part is a subquery that calculates the highest final grade across all students in the math grade table. It returns a single value, which would be the highest final grade, 95.5 in the case of this data set. And then we have this WHERE clause that compares the value of final grade with the result of the subquery. The outer query uses this to filter rows where the final grade matches the maximum grade found by the subquery. This way, the outer query only includes rows where the student achieved the highest grade. And finally, the distinct keyword is used to retrieve unique combinations of section and final grade. This is particularly useful if multiple students in different sections achieved the highest grade because it prevents duplicate entries from showing up. In the case of this data set, this prevents section A from coming up twice in the results. So now we have these three queries. The first one we started with, the intent is unclear. It's not clear whether the goal is to retrieve the highest grade for each section or to find the overall highest grade along with the section where it was achieved. Without clarity on intent, the query could produce misleading or inconsistent data. If only full group by mode is disabled, MySQL ends up randomly selecting one section should multiple sections contain the highest final grade, which would not give us a full picture of the data. Now, this second query is well-structured, adhering to the only full group by mode requirement and provides meaningful data by showing the maximum grade within each section. The intention here is quite clear just from reading the query. And this last query is correct and meaningful as well. It retrieves the sections of students who scored the overall highest grade in the table. It's not about per section maximums, but rather about finding the maximum grade across all sections. That intention is made clear as well by the code itself. So in summary, using only full group by mode reduces errors by enforcing strict SQL rules it encourages writing clear, consistent, and standards-compliant SQL queries, leading to better data quality and code that is easier to understand and is unambiguous.